As many people deal with the damages left behind from the floods, the American Red Cross continues to offer resources to help them get back on their feet. CBS 4's Abril Preciado was in Santa Rosa today and tells us more about the recovery efforts and where you can get help if you need it. It's completely gone. I mean, there is nothing we can save there. Those are words Cameron County resident Elida Gonzalez uses to describe the devastating damage left behind by the recent floods. It's heartbreaking. I mean, literally, it's, this house looks like it needs to get demolished. After the storm hit, Gonzalez and her elderly parents were evacuated out of their Tio Cano Lake home, and they've yet to return to it as it remains underwater. It's not the same. It's just not the same at all, but we try to be strong. And on Sunday, many residents in the same situation lined up at the technology building in Santa Rosa to receive help from the American Red Cross. Anyone that was affected by the flooding here in the valley can come by and get a cleanup kit. They can come in. There's caseworkers and health service volunteers. Axel David, the disaster specialist at the American Red Cross, says in the last few weeks they have served 31,000 meals distributed over 7,000 cleanup kits and have sheltered an estimate of nearly 70 overnight stays for those displaced in three Red Cross shelters in Willacy, Hidalgo and Cameron counties. The need has been pretty significant already and as you can see behind me it's going to continue to get more significant as we open these further and again we don't we don't leave town you know when it's convenient we, we're here until the job's done. Sunday's pop-up event is among the several that will be offered in the coming days. For now many residents say the help gives them hope. We can't be down all the time because where are we going to be at? We got to pick each other up in spirit and, and the Lord is so huge that he's right beside us. In Santa Rosa with complete Valley coverage, Abril Preciado, CBS4 Valley Tonight.